Hello, welcome today. I'm excited to have you on this video. Uh, remember, we are doing, we are in a series of videos, uh, the cryptocurrency, okay, how to invest in cryptocurrency. And in the previous video, I discussed on um, how or where to buy a uh, cryptocurrency. Now, you found a cryptocurrency on CoinMarketCap, you found a cryptocurrency somewhere, and you're wondering, why do I buy it? In the previous video, we discussed how to go to Coin market cap and go to the market uh, tab of the detailed page of the uh, cryptocurrency, and there you're going to find a list of uh, exchanges where you can buy that cryptocurrency. Another option is just to go straight to the website of that cryptocurrency and follow instructions on how to buy the cryptocurrency. Now, I have to really tell you this you really have to um, uh, be weary, you have to actually. Uh, keep away from cryptocurrencies that are not in stock exchange except those that are in ICO initial coin offerings except those projects that are coming up then you have to really study them and make sure they are good project before you put in your money all right so I want us to look at um, the uh, wallet if you've read my free ebook on cryptocurrencies in Cameroon you should have known what wallets are there are two principally two types of wallet the uh they are the hot wallets those are wallets that are online and they are uh, cold wallets those are wallets that are offline so if you have bought a cryptocurrency or you want to buy from an exchange are you going to just leave it there on binance or poloniex or on any of those exchanges or you're going to take them out of that exchange and store in an external wallet and where are these wallets that's what we want to look at right now now, I just mentioned that there are two types of wallet. We have the hot wallet. These are wallets that are online. They need internet in order to access them. We have on, on, on your desktop, okay? We have on your mobile phone, and we have on the browser. So, and then the other group of wallets are cold wallet. These are wallets that are offline, meaning that you don't need internet in order to uh, store coins on them. They are absolutely off, offline, okay? Now, there are different types of webs uh, different websites online where you can get those wallet but i just want to also look at this uh, my ether wallet my ether wallet is an ethereum one of the most used ethereum uh, hot wallet okay and it is also a wallet for ethereum erc20 uh cryptocurrencies or tokens erc20 co coins are coins that run on the ethereum network and you're going to get so many of them like uh ethos like uh, in fact i mentioned them in the list of 10 coins that you have to um consider and most of them are erc20 um tokens that can go in this wallet now there's a video that i have actually done completely on this uh platform and i encourage that uh, you take you look at that video watch it through so that you understand how this uh, platform functions if you are already in the account on my website you have that video right just uh, just below this video if you're watching on youtube you have to be on my website in order to watch that video now the next wallet uh, hot wallet is uh, the blockchain which is one of the most used wallet for bitcoin ethereum and bitcoin cash if you have bitcoin you have ethereum bitcoin cash and you don't know where to store Go to blockchain.info, create your wallet for free. It is absolutely free and be sure you protect it with the 2FA, 2 um, authentication, okay? <laughs> Two-factor authentication because that's uh, another powerful way to keep your coins from being hacked, okay? Now, these are uh, uh, blockchain.com and my Ether wallets are just two examples of uh, hot wallets, browser, hot wallet they are not desktop they are not uh, mobile or you can have blockchain on mobile okay there's a blockchain version that you can have on mobile now let's look at the uh, core wallets okay we have both the paper wallets okay it's a, a system that generates a wallet uh, a wallet data that's a private and public keys and print on paper and once you have that printed on paper, you have to keep that so jealously because if something happens to that, you're going to lose access to your uh, investment, to your cryptocurrencies. As a matter of fact, the coins are not downloaded to your paper wallet, okay? What you have printed on your paper wallet are the private key and the public keys. And these are not found anywhere else except on your 
piece of paper printed and coded, of course, behind the QR code so that your coins can be highly preserved. And then we have the hardware wallet, which is another form of um, uh, cool wallet. And a good example is at least a Ledger Nano S, which is a good um, a hardware wallet. It's just like, as you can see here, like memory a flash key, you can store your coins there and you access them even offline. So um, now you're going to go to the video uh, if you're on, on, on in the account, just go to the video below and there I explain, uh, give some very useful information on my Ether wallet. And after that, we'll be looking at buy now. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of this interesting journey in cryptocurrency. Bye-bye.